Very valid question. There's so many kinds to choose from. There's a lot of competition. I know so many artists for whom it's the only meal they ate, but the finest brand and flavor is still subject to debate. Well, Maru Khan brand ramen has cream chicken and lime shrimp, or then there's top ramen with teriyaki. See, the answer ain't so simple. It's just a block of dry noodles, three minutes in the pot, boiling water and the flavor packet, and it always hits the spot. Painters eat it at midnight, poets before poetry slamming. Comic book doodlers do it at lunch, bluegrass noodlers after jamming. The FDA might say it's no more nutrition than the package that it came in. But if they take it off the market, there will be artistic famine. <laughs> and on the old Little East side of New York, now those days are dead and gone. I had never heard of ramen, though I did love Ichiban. It was Japanese instant noodle soup, basically the same thing. And from the SYP store on Avenue A, it's of Ichiban, I'll sing. My favorite flavor ramen was the blue Ichiban package, with the flavor description I couldn't read in some ancient Asian language. It came with a block of tried bean curd, the noodles broad and flat. It's the best ramen ever, yeah, you heard, and if it ain't, I'll eat my hat. Now, there ain't many perks in this line of work, so I think I'll go to sleep and dream I run a restaurant where all the artists can eat cheap, with an art gallery in front and in back a performance venue, a dozen home-cooked meals to choose from and no ramen on the menu. But from the gates of Eden to the hills of Sweden, for your energy crisis, it's what my advice is. When I get my life in order, I'll cook it with spring water. It's what God ate in the days when he was creating, so I guess it's just our fate, let there be ramen. Speaking of God and creating, did it happen? Yeah, it happened 15 minutes ago. <laughs> oh. Now, so we're all still here. That's trouble. I can't see if anybody disappeared yet. Let's see who outside. All right. <laughs> it's true, I don't see anybody out in the street. There's a pop. Look at that. Piles of empty clothes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw this amazing website that was, uh, it seemed to be completely serious in terms of them accepting money. They were, they were the atheist earthbound animal uh, rescue fund. Did you hear about this? It's, 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 this was such a great concept. It was like, for if you believe that you are going to disappear in the rapture on Saturday, then for if you PayPal us $135 in advance, uh, we will take care of your pet after you're gone because pets aren't, uh, they aren't, uh, you know. Yeah, they don't get to go. So, uh, for anybody that loves their pet who is expecting to disappear on Saturday, they could just, and of course, there's like a clause like your money is not refundable if it doesn't happen. And they had a thing on the site, it was like, we are experiencing such a high volume of traffic, we can't answer every question. So, I mean, who knows how many of these things they sold. Uh, and then, of course, if, it, if the rapture does happen, they're really going to have to run around and take care of all these animals. So $135 per animal is a very low price. So I guess we'll see what we'll, we'll, we'll see. So um, oh, here's a song uh, sort of on similar uh, while we're on the topic. Well, I always kind of like to be surprised. I don't want to be told what happens after I die. Death is like a mystery gift wrapped up in a box Sent from infinity and stamped with question marks Everyone's got theirs and I've got mine People shake it, weigh it, discuss it all the time I tend to think there's nothing at all in it But it's cool that I could find out any minute And I whistle past the graveyard when I walk
nothing to worry about. Some people say that life is empty, some say it's meaningless, and some say that that isn't so.